now we are finally here. EDD 2019 in Brussels. We decided to focus only on one subject we feel really strongly about. And the subject is gender equality. Meeting the needs for contraception, safe abortion and maternal and newborn healthcare in developing regions would cost just 8 euros per person per year. Promoting gender equality through culture and creativity. How can we achieve more gender equality globally and what's the role that culture can play? So we just came from um, a brainstorm session, which we wasn't expecting to, it to be a brainstorm session. It was way out of my comfort zone. But it was really nice to see people talking like one-on-one, -on -one, face to face. And what was beautiful is that you had people from all different layers. Um, it's a quest about real sexist laws. In Nigeria, a married woman cannot open a bank account without a $10,000 deposit taking a mock test or her husband's permission. Husband's permission. In Russia, it's illegal for a woman to get a job driving a tractor, train or a ship. Okay, I didn't know about any of those. Women and girls must be put at the center of development if we're to succeed. Gender equality is the issue of our times. And it's young people who, I think, yes. have the intelligence, the interest, and to me, the sincerity to yeah. make a difference. So I think, as young women, very important to break down those barriers of talking to yeah. each other so that you can be honest yeah. and you can also, I think, be very supportive because it's yeah. tough out there, especially for right. young women. So, so, you know, definitely UNFPA is there for yeah. you. Yeah. And I hope that on the road to Nairobi, whether or not you actually come to Nairobi, you'll join our online discussion so we can really prove that young people know what they're doing. You just need a lot of support. That was intense. Really intense. My head is like, probably my head is like 10 times bigger right now. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm happy that we're coming back for another day. I can't wait to go back to my country and actually check on those projects, visit them, see how they're doing, and then tell that to you. So until next time in Argentina, who runs the world? Girls. Who runs the world? Girls. Who runs the world? Girls. Who